Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on finding a percentage multiplier where the percentage is a decimal. Now in the previous video we saw how we can represent finding a percentage of a number or a percentage change as multiplying by a particular number and we call that number a decimal multiplier. So we want to find a number that we can times by that would have the effect of increasing the number by 2.3%. Now in the previous video we said that everything starts at 100%. So if we had a 2.3% increase, what percentage of its value is it at now? Well 100 plus 2.3 is 102.3%. And then do you remember that we just convert this percentage to a decimal? And to convert a percentage to a decimal, you just divide by 100. So when we divide this percentage by 100, the decimal point moves two places to the left, one, two, so we get 1.023. So for example, if I had, say, 300, and I wanted to increase 300 by 2.3%, I would times by the 1.023. And that sort of makes sense, because if I times 300 by one, you would still have 300, it doesn't change it at all. So if you times by a number just slightly more than one, then it's gonna have the effect of just slightly increasing 300. And indeed, increasing something by 2.3% is only gonna be a small change, it's only gonna increase it slightly. So that feels right as an answer.